Hi everyone, welcome to today's uh, video. So in this video, I am going to show you how to automate creating a table of contents in a Word document. So for example here, I already have my Word document with uh, texts, with some headers, okay, with some images, and I want to add a table of contents at the first page maybe of my document. So question is, how do you automate that? So the first thing is we have to identify which parts of the document are considered as headers. And these headers will serve as your um, information that will be plotted in the table of contents. So let's say that the first header that I have will be this one. And this one I want to be in the table of content as well. So what you do, is you have to highlight okay, that um, line and then go to home and then under home you have to go to styles and look for heading one as your style so you click that so you're technically declaring that this line is going to be a heading and it's going to be plotted in the uh, table of contents later on so we have to do that as well for the other parts of our document so for example for the review of related literature I also want this to be part of the header but at the same time I don't really want it to be on the same page so I'm going to send this to the next page I'm going to put my cursor before the first word and then hit Control enter so that it automatically goes to the next page without you doing enter, enter, enter several times. And now I'm going to declare this as a heading as well. So I highlight that line and then go to home and then go back to that styles gallery and take note that in my MS Word right now, the styles gallery is in a drop down. It's possible that in your MS Word, you will have this as part of your ribbon. It has to do with how wide your screen is. So my screen is not so wide and I have a lot of add-ins, therefore compressing this into a drop-down. But yours, you may have this as a, a certain portion of the ribbon instead of drop-down. So for this uh, review of related literature, I'm also going to declare this as heading 1. And take note, it's not heading 2. We're not pertaining here to the sort of like a heading number. The heading one here pertains to the outline level of that title. So basically what I'm saying is that the um, text that I highlighted a while ago, the introduction is of the same level as this title over here, Review of Related Literature. So I'm also going to do that here, but first I will send this to the next page and then highlight and then again make this a, a heading one so same here I want findings to be in another page so I'll hit control enter and then I will make findings as heading one as well so here we go and we now have a subtopic so the subtopic is technically part of the findings chapter. So I'm also, I also want this to be in the table of contents. So I'm also going to highlight it and then go to home and then under home, go to styles. But this time, since this title is going to be a lower level compared to my heading one, I'm going to declare subtopic one as heading two. So it's going to be part of the table of contents, but it's going to be under the findings chapter. We're also going to do that for this subtopic two, and then home. This one I'm also going to declare as heading two. Okay, let me check if we have more. All right, and that's it. That's all the chapters that we have, okay. And if you're wondering like how many headings can we use, you actually, once you click heading two, it will produce heading three. 
once you declare a head a presence of a heading three, MS Word will then create a heading four and so on. So it will keep on adding more heading numbers, okay, based on your needs. So now I have with, uh, heading three waiting to be clicked, but we will not do that. I only need heading one and heading two. So I am now done with identifying which parts of the document are headings and subsequently declaring what lines should be in my table of contents. So I'm going to scroll up to the first page and probably send this to the uh, second page as well. So here's our title. Let me just uh, format this a bit. And then I'm now going to insert the table of contents. So over here. So now that I'm done with all the labelings of the headings, I can now then position the cursor, go to References, and then under References, on the leftmost part, you should see there, Table of Contents. So once you click that, you will be presented with several options like Automatic Table 1, Automatic Table 2, Manual Table, Though, honestly, they don't really have uh, differences like automatic table 1 and 2. Just that text over there that says contents and table of contents. So, not a big deal really which one you select here. But you, So, you can select from there right away. Or you could also choose custom table of contents. And if you go to custom table of contents, you can choose up to what heading number. Okay, should the table of contents populate or uh, plot? So here I have three, which is over the number of levels that I declared. If you remember, I only have heading one and heading two. So I could decrease this, and you will see that I'm getting a preview of what will happen. Though if you put three or four, it doesn't really harm your document if you only have two headings. So no problem with that. We can also choose the tab leader that we're going to have. So you can choose none or you can choose the dot dot dot, the very common one or other options that uh, you have there. So I think I will stick with the dot 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 here. And then from here, I am now happy with what uh, will show up. So I am going to click OK, and there you go. I now have my table of contents automatically created for me. Okay, and as you could see, the um, heading tools are all below or indented under heading one findings. Now, the nice thing about this is that if for some reason you moved the documents uh, sections into several pages for example right now subtopic 2 is at page 5 I will transfer subtopic 2 to its own page so now it's in uh, page 6 okay, of my document and all you have to do is go back to your table of contents and right click and update field so this will ask you if you want to add page or if you want to update page numbers or if you want to update the entire table so the first one will be enough based on the type of change that i did but if you added more sections more chapters more headings to your document then you have to select the second one you have to update the entire table so in our case we will choose the first one only because we did not added any additional headings then click OK and you will see that this is now updated with page 6 so there you go there's our automated table of contents one nice thing as well is that you can mouse over a certain line in the table of contents and you'll actually see the instruction there control click to follow the link so if you want to navigate to that part of the document you can control click that line and you will jump automatically to that page if you also save this document 
as a PDF document. So let me um, save this. So it's document with table of contents and I'll save it in my documents folder so I can easily see it and save. So when you save a document as PDF and it has a, an automatic table of contents, so let's explore what will happen. So there's my PDF file. It's now loading. Okay. So there's my table of contents being opened by Microsoft Edge. And there you have it. So I now have it in PDF form. And what's nice about this automatic table of contents is it also uh, can be clicked. So similar to what I showed you a while ago, if I click here, you don't have to do control click though, since this is a PDF document, you can jump directly to that part of the document. All right, and there you have it. I hope you learned something new and I hope uh, if, you, if it solves some of your problems, um, I hope you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us uh, move on and create more videos for you. And if you have any questions about this procedure, feel free to use the comment section and I'll try my best to answer you as soon as I can. For now, that's it. Have a nice day and see you in the next video.